Hey, hey. Welcome to Centaur Time with Roger. Um, you see this here? All the fragile stickers. This is not a bazooka. It's not a machine gun like you thought. This is a sitar. And uh, so obviously this is a pretty strong looking case. You need a good case for a sitar because they are very fragile instruments. In fact, this particular sitar I'm about to pull out right here, uh, it broke. It got destroyed on a flight. I was somewhere between so we're between Mumbai and Chicago. I had to stop in Amman, Jordan, and I don't I don't know which airport did it, but when I picked it up in Chicago, it was destroyed. So the the bulb here was just all in pieces. Luckily, I, I found a, a luthier here in Nashville that was able to glue it all back together, and um, it still sounds amazing, amazing. It's my it's my favorite sitar. But I'm, I'm too afraid to fly with it because I'm worried that it will break all over again. So, what to do? But fun fact, this is the, also the sitar that I used to record the Start Over record. So it was sort of like a fun declarative thing. Like, I'm going to use this broken thing to make beautiful music. And how much is that like a metaphor for our lives? For my life, for sure. Um, anyway... The sitar. So why is it called a sitar? Is it because you sit down to play it and it's like a guitar? No, no, that's not it. That's a good, it's a good way to remember it though. Um, so, so the way that I've heard it is that, so something like 500 years ago, the Mughals invaded India and they brought with them a three string instrument called the sitar. Well, the Persian word for three is sit. So, Somehow, somehow Indians took this and decided to turn this into an instrument with not three strings, but 20. If you look close, okay, so there's, I've got two layers. Um, on top here, there are seven strings, so you've got various strings. You've got your main string where you play your melody. Then you have these three strings that are your drones that sound you know you love that and then you have three strings up top they're much thinner they sound like bells and they're kind of like they're kind of like an accent that you can put in in your playing they're called chicory they're fun to say Anyway, um, so that's all your strings and all the all the knobs you see here. All these little pegs are each connected to a string. So the way the the strings underneath, people always ask, like, okay, what do, what do those do? How do you play those? These are called sympathetic strings, and you can do a couple things. So you can actually take like, you can take your finger and reach underneath and do a little strum, like so, like that. But the other thing they are designed to do is is when they when they when the, okay when the strings on top are played like let's say I play a D on top then the idea is that the frequency of that string is going to resonate through the instrument and cause the D that's on the bottom to ring out at the same time. So you hear that? So I'm going to pluck this one and then I'm going to lift my finger off but it still rings out. And so that was the other string on the bottom making that sound. There you go. So that's part of what creates just this crazy sound you get out of this instrument. And I, I love it. Um, let's see, oh, I'm wearing this, this guy on my finger. This is, this is your sitar pick. But it's called a Mizrab, M-I-Z-R-A-B. So you use this to, to strum. So you've got this kind of motion happening. You rest your thumb here on top of the neck and then you... So it's a little different, you know, guitar, you kind of strum 
like that, but on sitar you don't. It's a different, it's a different style, it's a different approach, and uh, it has its own beauty. Sitar, I would say, people ask like, oh, is guitar harder or is sitar harder? Well, I think, I think sitar is, here's what I say. Sitar, it's easy to learn some basic things. You can learn a scale very easily. I learned that in my very first lesson. The thing that's hard with sitar is to really master it. The, the people that are amazing at it are able to bend notes. And you can bend far. So, you can bend that far. It's a, it's a whole fifth. But I would say, you know what? Go listen to somebody like Anushka Shankar or Ravi Shankar. You can hear them play in one bend of the string. And I'm still working on that. I'm not that good yet. But I love it. If you have any other questions, just let me know. I'm happy to answer sitar questions. I'm happy to talk about sitar with you because I love it. Okay, see ya!